So the Breeders' Cup Classic will close the Breeders' Cup meeting. And another smallish field, just 10 again, I think. At the top, we've got Alpha Squad for Joshua Sutherland, Angelic Trap, Darren Thompson, Costa Messi, coming Vinnie Gerard, Galo Chop, John Morgan, Hookham, Dan Hughes, Trapanga Lavella, Darren Thompson, ultimately Brooke David Robertson, Anaheim, Gilles, Vinnie Gerard, Birchwood for John Morgan, and Golden 60 for Dan Hughes. So no sign of any of the trainers who are not in the top five or six. It's purely for the big boys, this one. And away they go. And who's going to be the first one to get off into the lead? It looks like John Morgan's pair, who are right across the track, are going to be disputing the lead. Galo Chop and Birchwood. It's Birchwood who's going to race right across from the outside draw to get across to the fence. So Birchwood's got the lead then. Trapanga Lavella is second. Ultimately, Brook, the first of three greys, is in third. Then comes Galo Chop and Alpha Squad. Then the two Dan Hughes horses, Golden 60 and Hookham with Angelic Trap next and the two Vinny Gerrards at the back as usual. Costa Messi coming at Anaheim Shield but those two really can fly at the death. So Birchwood is in the lead by about three from Trapanga Lavella. Most of the top boys got two in this and ultimately Brook is in third. Then Alpha Squad, Galo, Chop, Hookham and Golden 60 are both making a bit of a forward move. Costa Messi coming, Angelic Trap and Anaheim Gila close enough, if good enough, as they come down towards the final five furlongs in the Breeders' Cup Classic. And Birchwood is in the lead. We all know John Morgan's horses go well on the dirt, and he's got a one-two at the moment. Galo Chop in second. Alpha Squad is third, and then Ultimate Brook Hookham is next in. Golden Sixties after that on Trapanga Lavella. Costa Messi coming. He's starting to get a little bit closer. Angelic Trap and Anaheim Gila are at the back, but they're starting this long sweeping turn for home now then and Birchwood and Galo Chop about to be joined by Alpha Squad Hookham's give a racing room and a bit boxed in on the inside also ultimately Brooks running into a bit of a cul-de-sac Golden 60 on the outside these are still clear but Costa Mesa coming is leading the charge from the back four got Birchwood still in the lead two furlongs to go Birchwood is still two lengths clear of Galo Chop and Golden 60 and then Hookham's looking for room still, Costa Mesa coming, he's coming, but he's starting to motor now with a furlong still to go, and now all of a sudden Galo Chop, he says go on that one, and Galo Chop sweeps into the lead from ultimately Brook, then comes Alpha Squad, Costa Mesa coming, they're not going to catch Galo Chop, Galo Chop, well, five or six lengths, absolutely easy win for Galo Chop, John Morgan takes another, and it's going to be an interesting final week between him and Vinny, because if the conditions are not right next week, John Morgan just won't run his, whether they went in for the championship or not. And Galo Chops won that by about six lengths. Ultimately, Brook second, Alpha Squad third, Costa Mesa coming disappointing today. Vinny Gerrard's also just not picking up on these American tracks today. Galo Chop for John Morgan, the winner. Ultimately, Brook for David Robertson second, Alpha Squad. Joshua Sutherland third, Costa Mesa coming, Vinnie Gerard fourth, and Trapanga Lavella for Darren Thompson was fifth. <laughs>